Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Just make sure I c you can hear me and you can see, okay? Thank you. So tonight we're going to pour on an artist loft canvas. Since I grabbed my tape. <laughs> That's okay, Sarah. We have replay. <laughs> so these artist loft canvases are pretty much the same as Hobby Lobby. The rounds are a little heavier, but the ovals are the same. Hello, Brian. Hi, Joy. Hi, Susan. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Beth. Hello, my Shelly. <laughs> I'm just going to tape this real quick. I was going to do this earlier, but I ended up, the one that I taped off, I ended up doing a uh, tester to see if my paint consistencies were good. We're good. These ovals are a little tricky to tape, but once you do a few of them, it's pretty easy. Hope everybody's having a good day. I've had a very unproductive day. Too busy playing with the dogs and phone calls and um, unpacked my Hobby Lobby order. I had some stuff for the retreat in that order. I had to pull it out. And I prepped some more boxes. So I've got a ton of boxes prepped that you'll be seeing videos on those probably. All my ornaments are prepped for Saturday night. We're going to have fun. Well, at least I am. <laughs> Hi, Deirdre. Hello, Elpa. Probably said it wrong, didn't I? I like to use the metal push pins so they don't shatter when I hit them with the hammer. These frames on these canvases are like MDF, so they're very heavy duty. So what we're going to do now is mix up some cloud paint. I went back through the tutorials and I never taught you guys how to mix cloud paint. Whoops, I broke one. So I thought I better get that in. And I haven't I haven't been seeing a lot of cloud pours on YouTube lately, so why not? We'll do one. Alright, so I am gonna miss the back of that. Because I like my canvases super tight. I'll just use some water, which I have this thing to get the dogs <laughs> when they get into stuff. There we go. So I just rub it in. I try to get it right up to that MDF so I don't leave a ring. And you can blow dry this or let it dry natural or hit it with paper towel, but it works pretty quick. So let me set that down. While it's drying, we'll mix. <clears throat> so out comes the scale. Hi Robin. Hi Hazel. 
so I have my trusty little scale here. Bring you down just a smidge so you can see what I'm doing. Get my gloves on. I don't want pilot holes, Brian. Then you have holes. <laughs> Uh, my cloud mix is different than the pearl mix, Joy. Yes. Because you want it, the uh, pouring paint consistency. So I my normal recipe is 8 ounces of everything, but tonight we're going to do 4 ounces of everything. Actually, I think I'll do 2 because I really don't need a lot of cloud paint. So we'll just use a plastic cup. All right, first ingredient, deco art satin enamels, pure white, we'll get our scale turned on, all right, two ounces. This will be enough for a painting and a half, probably. Are you going to change? There, it did. All right. And my next ingredient is the Artist Loft Flow. Doesn't matter what year it is. It all works the same for this. No being mean today, Brian. I'm kind of weepy today. <laughs> so I want another two ounces of this. Maybe it's the weather. I had a bad day, too. I've had a bad week. There's our two ounces of that. All right, now, flow trawl. Two ounces of flow trawl. This is already strained and stirred. I used it earlier. I went over a smidge, but that's okay. And our last ingredient is glue. So you can use Elmer's glue all, or Elmer's school glue, or Michael's glue. It's just a binder, that's all it is. So we're gonna add two ounces of that. right joy I look forward to spending time with you guys two days a week except this week it'll be three days <laughs> if you're here Saturday I have cobwebs on my webcam I just noticed that I need to clean <laughs> I need to clean my studio so we're done with the scale Brian, you'll have to go back and watch. <laughs> All right, so right now we're at a thicker consistency than what we want. So my suggestion to you, if, if you're going to do a cloud pour, mix it up the day before. because You want the bubbles to come out. Otherwise, you'll get bubbles in your cloud pour. Okay, see how thick? We don't want it that thick. 
So I'm going to add just two capfuls of water. I'm not big on water, but you have to have it for this. Okay. So on the, at this point, there's one thing more you could add if you wanted to. Um, you could add some of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. So the mix that I have that I'm using has the Vallejo Pearl Medium. So you would just add maybe a half an ounce to an ounce. You don't need a lot. But I'll give you some more effects. So right now I'm just right. This is paint pouring consistency. See how it disappears? So we want it, we want it gone within three seconds. So that's where we want it, right there. So I'm going to go ahead, scrape all that down one more time, stir it, because I'll pour this in my bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the, the Vallejo Pearl, because that's what's in my bottle. That's about half an ounce. That's about maybe an ounce, half an ounce. It's not really going to change your cons consistency much because that's pretty thin. If it's really thick, you'll have to add a little bit more water. Okay. That's good. So. Now it's time to play. <laughs> How you layer your cloud mix in your cup is going to make a difference too. There we go. So I picked out some colors. I picked out juniper. I am going to use just a tiny bit of deep lagoon for contrast and I'm talking a tiny little bit because my tester piece that I did earlier was mostly Deep Lagoon, which is weird. <clears throat> I'm going to use some Wisteria from our Coastal Collection and some Moody Blue with the Cloud Mix. These are all Parage Posse paints and I have them available in my Etsy shop and right now we have a sale until Monday. So if you want to get paints on sale, do it now. Because I don't know if I'm going to run another sale before Christmas. Okay. Most of the time, I'll say if you're going to do something like this, um, to use a paper cup so you can pinch it. But tonight, because I want to show you this, I'm not going to use a paper cup. Because a lot of people don't have them. So we're going to go ahead and fill our cup. 11 by 14 canvas, we need about 8 ounces, 9 ounces of paint, I'd say 8, to get over the sides and have room for tilting. So that'll be about half of this cup. Hi, Kathy Mac. All my girls, mommy winners, got their boxes today. I showed them all delivered today. Chrissy already sent me a message. <laughs> All right, let's start with the juniper. And after juniper, we're going to use that deep lagoon. Just a little bit, though. Then we're going to add our cloud mix, and this is cloud pearl. This has got the pearl in it. Then we'll do the wisteria. Oh, Carrie got hers. Yay, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of like Christmas when you don't know what's in there, isn't it? <clears throat> and then we'll do the moody blue. So we have that little bit of cloud mix in there next to the deep lagoon so that color does react very well with cloud pores uh phalo blue does as well so it would be our carolina blue they react really cool with the cloud pores 
All right, so after Moody Blue, we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to do Juniper again. You don't want to overuse your cloud mix. Otherwise, you're going to have a white painting. All right, just a touch of the Deep Lagoon. And then we're going to do our pearl again. Cloud pearl. Wisteria. Yes, Brian got a goodie box today, too. For his birthday. Moody blue. We're going to go back to Juniper. And... I'm going to skip the Viridian, the, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Deep Lagoon. No, actually, I'm going to do another round. All right, so we're going to add a little bit more. I'm not quite halfway yet. Some Cloud. Wisteria. This Wisteria with the Moody Blue is gorgeous. Because our moody blue is like a Payne's gray, uh, Payne's gray. Come back here. And I think I'll end it with just a little bit bowling, a little bit of the cloud mix. So we start out with it. All right, let me cap these off. rid of my cheat sheet. <laughs> All right. I see two bubbles there. We don't want those. Okay. So instead of going this way, I'm going to go the opposite way just to see if it makes a difference how we pour. And if we need a flow extender, we can add it. All right, let's go. So we're just going to straight pour. You can turn your cup to give it a little more definition. And as you get to the bottom of your cup, see how that cloud mix mixed in with that moody blue? That's what I don't like. So now I'm going to go ahead and ring that very little bit at the end. So if I don't like this, we're going to do it over. Okay. I'm not liking that dismount. And torch those bubbles. Hi, Violetta. All right, got some clouding going on here already. So, so I'm going to open it up, is all. I should have enough paint. Everything's running pretty good. See how that deep lagoon took over and I didn't use very much of it at all. It's odd. It's a very demanding color. It is pretty, but it's all up in your face kind of color. So I'm going off my edges just a little bit. Being careful not to lose parts that are interesting, but I do have to cover those sides. One last. 
last one. All right, so let me bring it back. I don't care for all of this here, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that off. While I have my paint all together. Just up to that moody blue line. So we don't wanna dump our cloud paint off. We want that to have a chance to uh, open up. All right. Let me turn it around so I can make sure I got all my edges covered. So as we let this set, let me wipe my hands real quick. That white should open up a little bit more to give us that poofy, cloudy look. Okay, let me torch up like some lots of little bubbles. Anytime you do a straight pour like that, you're going to get bubbles because the paint hits on top of each other. You can see how it's clouding out there. And then over here. So I lost the cloud pour mix in here. It must have sank, which is a bummer. And some of it blended in with the moody blue and the Viridian color, the group deep, deep look. <laughs> so it gave us kind of that funky looking color there. But I think I want to do one more. Let's do one more and do a different color palette. Yeah, this one will give you clouds, Brian. <clears throat> so this is the recipe that's um, in the recipe cards that I sell on Etsy. The pack. This is the recipe for that. So let me move this one. And I will grab another canvas. back there. <laughs> Throwing things around. I'm just going to lay a piece over top of that. It's not going to hurt anything. So I have a round. This is from Hobby Lobby. You know, you can lose something so quick in this place. <laughs> yes, Deep Lagoon is a Parash Posse paint. It's a blue-green shimmer. It's more on the green side, of course. It is a gorgeous color. 
if I must say so myself. But I also love denim metallic. It's a beautiful color too. And I think that's what we're going to use on the next one. We all have our favorites, which colors we like the best. Um, I sell a ton of Victoria's Muscadine wine and Persian Autumn Yellow. And Carolina Blue is being popular now. Uh, Ellie's Evergreen is selling really well right now. It's funny when Jody Flynn does a bloom with my paints that I can always tell because those are the colors that sell. <laughs> so I know where they're coming from. All right. Well, Brian, you do realize that your color is being discontinued, right? We're going to have to get you a new color. After Christmas, or after the first of the year, it's discontinued. Got to make room for some more pretty stuff. Yeah, Shelly's Masquerade is pretty, too. Some colors sell really well and some colors don't. Um, I've been selling a lot of Finnegan Gray, which is surprising. I didn't think people would buy gray, but it's so pretty with the undertone of that violet in it. Looks magnificent next to the silver. Yes, Alan's washing sheets for me. And dog sitting. I sent a video to Shelly and Brian and Darnell today of Finnegan and Vicky of Finnegan learning how to shake. It's so cute. All right, let me put these away and grab some more. Denim blue metallic. We can go ahead and add a silver in there. <clears throat> Let's do morning pansy and oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> All my dyes just slid over. Uh, beach Retreat Shimmer. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Denise. Hi, Joella. Poor Joella. <laughs> All right. It's not going to stick up for you, Brian. He's just glad I'm not discontinuing his color. This is 2021. Okay. I think 2022 would be a little too um, minty for this color, color palette. I'm super picky about color palettes, aren't I? All right. I think I have them in the order I want them. So we're going to take the tops off. Okay. So we're going to start with denim blue. Just love that color. 
then we're going to do some silver spoon. We'll do a little bit of cloud. We should get a cool reaction between the metallic and the cloud. <laughs> and morning pansy. I just got a notification from um, YouTube that said, now would be a good time to insert ads. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. We're going to go back to the denim blue. Look how pretty those three colors look together. Some silver. Some cloud pour. Morning Pansy. This is a gorgeous purple. If you like purple, it's a gorgeous purple. It dries uh, dark like a dioxazine violet. Alright. Half a layer, probably. This canvas isn't as big. I want to get that purple in there. No. If you get your cloud pour consistency too thin, you'll see it sinking down through the colors. That's okay, because it will show up. You'll have it all at the end, but you can stop it. Like when you see all the white coming, you can stop it if you want. Because you don't want an all white painting in the middle. Okay, let me get some gloves on. Patty. Thank you, Kathy Mac. I appreciate you so very, very much. All right. I'm going to flip the cup around this way this time. I'm going to hit those bubbles real quick. Don't want them out on my canvas first thing. Okay, here we go. Just a straight pour, but you can shift your cup. I think the metallic really held that cloud pour mix better this time. See how the cloud pour goes to the bottom? And then you're left with that milkiness. And that's all right, you can work with it. That's the satin enamel for you. You can use the bare satin enamel, the house paint, in place of the um, decor. And that's the one that's in the turquoise and white can from Home Depot. Alright, this one's prettier. Pretty, pretty. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate you. I hope you're feeling better. All right, I don't want to lose this right here because if I tilt it, it's going to go. So I'm going to push my paint this way to take that off first. And then I'm going to kind of come this way with my paint. I don't want that to roll over completely. I'm going to lose some of it. That's all right. Just the edge of it. I still have that one in front of it, so I'm okay. But 
but I'm really loving this and I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some morning pansy here. you got to make sure you touch the paint though because otherwise it'll keep rolling over. All right, let's tilt it now. But it leaves it open and just glides with that. I'm not digging that center very much. It's hard to get a good center <clears throat> on a pour. So I like everything but this, so I'm going that way. That's all that silver. I'm walking my paint down. take a minute and look at it and see where I want to pull it. It's got some really cool stuff going on. I think I think I want to come this way. Just a tad. Alright, so all my paint's there. I gotta get it up there. get quiet when I'm trying to maneuver because it's like if I say something it's gonna go the wrong way <laughs> all right so I pulled that down over the edge okay let's see that is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it dries. Hi, Vic. That's okay. I'm just going to play with this just a little bit. I didn't like that line. edge here because on the side of it it's got some cloud stuff going on but this is really clouding up pretty I do want to move it back down there though because I can see how it's doing it I'll take that little bit off because it kind of squished the lines when it did that This is really pretty right here. Thank you, Vic. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for the super chats. Alright, I see a few more bubbles I'm going to get. stubborn bubble. There. I got him. 
So this one's pretty interesting. We have a lot going on in this painting. I like this drape of Morning Pansy with the denim blue mixed in it. And there's silver in there too, so that's going to be super shiny. This over here is the denim blue mixed with the beach retreat. So it gave us a whole new color. Mmm, interesting. <laughs> and of course the cloud mixed with the morning pansy because we did put the cloud mix before the morning pansy. Uh, what's my favorite? Um, it's hard to say, Bonnie, because they're all my babies, but I would try to go, like, with, I don't know what you have yet, but Juniper, Denim Blue, um, I love the Morning Pansy, I love the Vineyard Violet, um, Bentley Boo's Old Gold is a beautiful gold, if you don't want to go gold gold, it's a softer gold. And then, of course, Moe's Eggplant is really pretty. Um, Shelly's Masquerade. <laughs> uh, Champagne Shimmer. And Coral Reef. Those are probably my absolute favorites. I do like Maria's Shimmering Spruce, too, because it's an olive green metallic. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty's pretty. Um, the Beach Retreat, 2021 Beach Retreat, is kind of the metallic side of Sleeping Beauty. There's not a big color difference there, but one is shinier than the other. Thank you, guys. So I have a tile here I can pour the rest of that on. Let me move this. I'm going to have to clean up that mess, though, because that's a lot of paint. This you might not want to put in a slot bucket because you'll have some interference of effects going on if you're doing a regular pour. You'll get some effects that you may not like. You'll wonder where it came from and that's what it'll be, the cloud pour mix. So if you can, you could use that as an extender for your cloud pour mix, cloud pourers, but I wouldn't use it for regular pouring. All right, let me get those out. Christy. I'm really liking using the parchment paper instead of the pads. It's saving me a bunch of money. That's TMI, Bri. <laughs> but thanks for letting us know. That you're on empty. <laughs> Silly. Oh, let's see. What do we have over here? Okay, I found a tie. get to see how I take my tiles now, huh? I have a little trick with tiles. I like this wide scotch blue for the ends. And then instead of wasting a whole piece, I go ahead and use the thinner one for the middle. 
And this one's a little stickier, which is weird because it's the same brand. Then I take a pencil and I rub that pencil on the sides of my tile. See my lines? I pull that back just a little bit and I cut on that line. That way you are all the way, just about all the way. You don't want to be at the edge because when you go to resin, your resin might um, act up. So I try to go just a hair back. You don't want it to show when you go this way. You don't want it to show. So then when you do that, I do anything else I put my gloves on because that's that's like glass and when you're working with anything like that all it takes is one spot of oil from your hands well you know when you tape 200 tiles for the retreat you get pretty quick I've thrown away a lot of pencils, let me just say that, because they're all chewed up. <laughs> just one squirt. And clean all the dirt off. They do get dirty in the case with each other, so you want to clean them. I hear puppies. Alright, so I'm going to lay that on its face and I'm going to grab a tile stand. Brian's tile stands. Now I don't use these when I resin because my cookie sheets are that far apart. So I would have to skip every other sheet. I don't have time. I don't have room to do that. So when I'm resining, it's quick. It's a, like mass production. So I do like to tape that stand on. Just like that. The nice thing with these stands are, you know how slippery your hands get when you got paint on them? All I could do is just grab that bottom. It's not going nowhere. So Brian's got a sale starting on November 1st. He just posted a link to his shop. You could go in and put things in your cart and wait for them to go on sale. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Alright, so I have a little bit of paint left in here. I'm going to add to it. Um, I still want to go with that denim blue and that morning pansy, but I'm going to do the denim blue, the morning pansy, And then I'm going to put the beach retreat on that, and we'll put the cloud on top of that. Let's see what that gets us. And then the silver. <laughs> Joella. She's funny. What is she doing right now? I hate that she can't get on time with us. Like, she lags. It's really weird. I have plenty of paint here. I'm just adding just a little bit more to the cup. Because what's left over, I can put on my parchment paper. Actually, I can put it on a uh, silicone sheet. Oops, I forgot the white. Okay. 
You have more paint, right, Brian? I probably have enough here for two and a half, maybe three tiles. <laughs> I got a little heavy handed. That would be Finnegan barking. All right, let's do a little bit around the edge. I kind of like what I'm seeing on the ends. I'm just going to wet those corners. I just don't want to have to um, tilt that much to, and I'll end up losing all that. Alright, let's see what we get. I'm a corner pincher. Like when I see it coming, I pinch because I don't want all of that prettiness to fall off of my tile. And I always go corner to corner so I don't lose my design. So as soon as that paint's there, see how I'm grabbing that design and holding it so it don't go over. I'm not digging that. I don't care if that goes over, but I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to bring it down. Kind of angle it just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to that corner. It's got lots of clouds. It's pretty. I hear you, puppies. All right, let me wipe my hand off. Okay, give it a torch. Super cute. Very cloudy and very pretty. So, try that recipe that I gave you tonight. Um, if you have the um, paint pouring cards from the Etsy shop, that recipe is in there. So you don't have to... Uh, worry about losing it because I did laminated. There's seven recipes in that pack. They're all laminated. They're on a key ring. You can hang them up in your studio. We have the Fiona flower mix that Shelly and I collaborated on. Um, in the pack it's called the reverse dip recipe. We have the bloom recipe. We have the cloud pour. We have the pearl pour our regular paint mixing, our base paint mixing, and there's one more. Oh my. <laughs> What's the other one? Oh, Dutch pour. That's the other one. You want more? <laughs> do you want me to do one more? Because I have enough paint to pour for one more. Let me move this one. one more just to use that paint up. I promise I won't add anything to it. Maybe a little cloud. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can put tape on this with my gloves on. This ought to be interesting. My Christina's Laguna was supposed to be a Naples yellow, but I don't know what happened to my recipe. It just got too yellow. 
So I'm going to be discontinuing that color. So we may come out with a Naples yellow. We do have a mellow yellow, which is super light from the Coastal Collection. Uh, the Wisteria Sandbar and Seafoam sell really well. Yellows do not sell well for me. Um, orange Marmalade sells well because people use it for blooming. So, yeah. But I kind of have two colors in my head right now that I need to get in there and mix. You know, when I have time. <laughs> um, I already have the stuff to do the colors, so... I am dumping Christina's Laguna, Brian's Annoying Green, Nate's Stormy Weather, um, possibly Mellow Yellow. If I if I get rid, I want to keep it at fifty colors. So if I get rid of some that don't sell well, then we replace them with colors that people want. So I do keep track of what sells and what doesn't. I have the thing from Etsy. Deep Lagoon is my biggest seller. Morning Pansies after that. Like, no one's buying Coral Reef right now. I don't understand why, because that's a gorgeous color. I guess you just have to have the color palette for it, you know? Because it is pretty southwesterny. Um, if you use it with turquoise, it's absolutely gorgeous. I need to come out with a palette book <laughs> so people know what colors to use together. But Gina DeLuca has that with the cards, and I hate to do that, you know. I don't like to step on people's toes. I don't want to be a competition thing and... But I thought, well, maybe every week on my channel for channel memberships will feature a palette. And that way we can get through 52 color palettes for the year. And I don't know. We'll think of something. I'll think of a way around it. How's that sound? Yes, we do have different palettes for sure. Oh, are you doing that collab, Brian, with Nathan and Larry? I just caught that caught that out of the corner of my eye. Thank you, Bonnie. All right, let's use this up. I don't know how much cloud we'll get out of this one, but we'll see. I'm getting some pretty fingerlings. Beach Retreat showed up on this one, for sure. I, I will tell you, as you know, it's not a secret, but phalo blues, like the Carolina blue, uh, and phalo greens, love the cloud mix. You will definitely get clouds against those two colors. So, like, if you use Deep Lagoon and you use Carolina blue... Um, even the morning pansy, you probably get better clouds. Hi, Janice. 
Hi, Larry. All right, let's tilt this puppy. Let me uh, torch those bubbles. Ooh. Which way to go? This is so interesting here. Look at that. Look at all those colors. All right, let's see what we're going to do. I'm probably going to go get rid of some of that first. <laughs> all right. Let's go here first. And I don't care if some of that runs off because that's kind of weird. But I do want to open it up and see what's in there. So we're going to come down to the opposite corner. To the middle. Alright, then we're going to go this way. So Saturday, for all of you that entered my giveaway and didn't win, come hang out with me Saturday night while I'm doing ornaments. It's going to be a very impromptu live. I'm just painting ornaments. I'm not like, I'll have my colors all picked out and everything before I even start. So I don't have to try to pick out colors. But I just want to see how many ornaments I can get painted for the night. And I'm going to do some giveaways. And if I can get Alan out here to help me Saturday night, we can do more giveaways. Because we'll have two people watching the screen. This one's interesting too. Look at that one. I don't want to change it because I like the rippling in there. And yes, all my ornaments will be for sale. So, if you see a set that you like, make sure you email me because once they go on Etsy or to work with Alan, they're gone. <laughs> I was just saying you could help me Saturday night, Alan, with chat. So, there, we used up the paint. That was cool. Any questions on Cloud Pour Mix? So I'm going to set this down and take my gloves off so I can answer questions. So now that mix had the Vallejo Pearl in it. Just that little squirt that you saw me put in there, that's what I did in the one I made this afternoon. So it was maybe, a, maybe an ounce, if that. Joella, we got to get you fixed, honey. I know we tried, but... <laughs> okay, so... What Brian was trying... Were you trying to help her, Brian? Telling her what I was doing? I don't know why she buffers and why she can't like keep up with our um, video. It's weird. I mean, there's other people that have said that to me, but they've never had it happen every time they come in. So, I don't know. Maybe YouTube doesn't want her watching me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Hi, Julie. Um... So yeah, paint sales still Monday at midnight. Um, Massey Boys are going to be doing a video with the Praj Posse paint, so they'll also have a code um, in case you miss the sale or can't get my sale. You'll be able to get their sale. And um, I think next week, she tried that, Vic. She tried dumping her cookies and everything. It didn't help. So I think next week, maybe we'll pour some box tops just to kind of keep it um, a fun night instead of a like a deep down tutorial. But I can help you with layering colors. How's that sound? 
and then because I have a ton of boxes I need to get painted and I'm going to be doing videos on some of those too and I have oh, the tumbler that we did last week oh I forgot to show you guys look how pretty I did a second coat with the plastic wrap so this is the stuck up pigs boastful and I sealed it with um, matte finish so that that doesn't come off on your hands and then I will I'm gonna go ahead and resin this but it's so pretty you get all the different colors the shifts I just love it so I did get that one done and I did not finish the fish on the aquatic alcohol inks that we were doing <laughs> I need more time I need to pour some skins. I have lots of things I need to do. I need someone to come and clean my house and watch my dog so I can get things done. <laughs> I live in my studio and I still don't get everything done. Oh, is that what it is, Julie? Maybe. I know Nate struggles sometimes too, but he gets in his car and goes up to the hills or something, he says. Oh well. All right, guys. It was a fun night. Something new to do with a recipe we hadn't gone over, which I was surprised. I went through and looked. Um, if you think of anything else that I do on my channel that I have not covered on a tutorial Thursday, please let me know. And no, Brian, I'm not doing a Starburst because we already did one. <laughs> He's going to throw that out there. I know he is. Feel better, Susan. You better come here and straighten it out, Vic. <laughs> she can make me work. <laughs> I'm one of these I'd rather point and tell her what to do. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night, and I will see you all Saturday night. Don't forget, giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. I love you all. Bye now.